Hi, I'm uh, Jeff Huber. I'm the uh, founding CEO of Grail. Uh, Grail's mission is to detect cancer early when it can be cured. Um, we'll talk a little bit uh, more maybe of the, the background or the arc of uh, how Grail got to today and then where we're going from here. Um, so as Jordan mentioned, my background is, uh, is at Google, um, and that's material to, to Grail's mission. Um, I spent the last 12 years uh, before Grail uh, at Google, where I was uh, uh, built uh, Google Ads, which is the economic engine behind Google, uh, Google Apps, the communication collaboration products like Gmail, Calendar, Docs, etc., uh, and then was involved in the early days of Google Maps, and uh, then ran Google Maps for a couple of years. Uh, collectively, those applications were each used by you know, a billion people each, and uh, we're each uh, multi-billion dollar businesses uh, for Google. About three years ago, I moved into Google X uh, to focus on, on new things. And as I was doing that transition, uh, it was an opportunity to step back a little bit and think about you know, what, was, what were the major trends that were occurring uh, in the world and what were the areas and opportunities for impact. And I've always believed that innovation happens at intersections. Uh, I was coming from a background in computer science, but as I looked at life sciences, it felt like there was an inflection opportunity there uh, with new technologies like genome sequencing coming along. Remember the curve that has been shown a couple of times already. Um, there was a, a potential for just a tidal wave of data. And at that intersection, uh, where, and that data is effectively digitizing biology. And it felt like if we could bring those two things together, computer science and life science, uh, that we could lead to a new curve uh, of insights around the underlying science and biology. Uh, so I started heading that direction, uh, joined Google X, uh, and was uh, helped ramp up uh, Google Life Sciences, which has now ultimately become Verily, to explore that intersection. Uh, apparently, uh, great minds think alike. Uh, serendipity happened. Uh, just shortly after I made that directional decision, I was approached by Illumina, who is the leader in genome sequencing, who's the company that's really driving the performance of that curve. Uh, and they were looking at this tidal wave of data that was coming. And they knew uh, that there was much more uh, information and insight that was possible, both for them, and they saw it as a limiting factor for their customers. So they wanted a big data guy. Um, and I was the designated big data person that, uh, uh, that joined Illumina to help their board to, to help think through those issues. The, uh, when I got to Illumina, uh, one of the really exciting uh, projects that I discovered was the, the technology and team that ultimately uh, was spun out of Illumina to become Grail. Uh, the background or genesis of it was they had acquired a company called Veronata that was working on non-invasive prenatal testing, which was a blood test that took a, a blood draw from uh, a pregnant mother and was able to detect uh, fragmentary DNA in the mother's blood that was a signal of uh, uh, fetal abnormalities, things like Down syndrome. Uh, after they had done 100,000 of those tests, they had about 20 tests that were anomalous, where they couldn't explain the result. And what they found from that, uh, when they dug in, was that those were cases of actually very late stage cancer that hadn't yet been diagnosed. That little light bulb at Illumina that said, okay, with this test that was developed for a completely different purpose, clearly there is signal there, and we were able to detect it at, if you imagine cancer kind of by stage, increasing in complexity and in concentration in the blood uh, of the fragmentary DNA and RNA that is there. Um, they were able to detect it at very late stage and high concentration. What would it take to slide down that curve to the very earliest stages? And that led to uh, an A-plus team being formed within Illumina uh, that uh, got all of the resources they need, uh, led to a great collaboration with Memorial Sloan Kettering, which is probably one of the leading cancer hospitals in the country uh, and research institutions in the country around this topic, and that began what was Grail. The discussions as that was coming along that we had at the board were, you know, this is beyond a, a, a business uh, opportunity. Yes, it, it can and should be a good business, but it's really a whole nother level of, of this is a moral and ethical imperative given the potential for, for impact. Uh, so that was uh, on the order of uh, two and a half years ago. I was on the board of Illumina. I'm at Google X doing my night and weekend PhD in biology, learning as fast as I can at the intersection of computer science and life science when uh, things took a, a more personal turn. Uh, specifically, my wife, Laura, uh, who is 46 years old, um, healthy, fit, no family history of cancer whatsoever, uh, started having some, some symptoms. And that led to a two-month diagnostic quest that ultimately resulted in uh, a diagnosis of, of late-stage cancer, colon cancer specifically, stage four colon cancer. 
that obviously was a, was a shock um, for her, for me, with no symptoms to then be diagnosed with colon cancer that had uh, spread extensively to her liver through her lymph system. That began 18 months of treatment. Um, I'm confident that she got the best treatment in the world. Um, but while it was a noble battle, it was ultimately a losing fight because of where it started. Laura passed away in November of 2015. Uh, I was approached by the Illumina board, knowing my passion uh, for this area, uh, the next month in December about becoming the CEO, the founding CEO of Grail. Grail was announced in January of last year, January of 2016. Uh, my role was announced in February. Uh, we set up payroll and had our first employees who were uh, the hand-picked team from Illumina R&D that were spun out. Uh, we started on a day one in March with 40 people and it's been a rocket ship ride ever since. Uh, since then, we've grown from 40 people uh, uh, in March to uh, almost 150 today. And that takes us back to, to Grail's mission. So Grail's mission is to detect cancer early when it can be cured. The underlying premise of that is very simple. Cancer that's discovered at an early stage, stage one or stage two, it depends a little bit on cancer type, but the outcomes are overwhelmingly positive. 70%, 80%, 90% rates of cure. The cure today is simple. You cut it out before it spreads and becomes more complex. Cancer that's discovered at late stage, in contrast, stage three, stage four, is, is roughly the inverse, 80 to 90% negative where people die. So at simplest, we're trying to make that shift. Instead of detecting at late stage where the odds are stacked against you, we want to shift it to early stage where the odds are with you. The underlying technology behind that is uh, what we call ultra-intense genome sequencing where we're sequencing an order of magnitude broader, two or three orders of magnitude deeper than anyone else is, generating on the order of a terabyte of data for every test that we do. Um, that data is then fed into uh, leading technology, machine learning, deep learning systems that can ultimately make that diagnosis at its earliest stages. Grail's a very mission-driven place. It's obviously a, a deep and personal mission for me. Um, uh, the company and team is driven by the mission. I uh, hope you'll join us in that quest. Thank you. Thank you.